Ohio State is everybody's number one for a reason. The Buckeyes bring back just about everybody from last year's national championship team. And by the way, 2015 was supposed to be the year when Urban Meyer's recruiting classes would mature into a contender. But the Buckeyes have a different role now. Meyer once called it the chase, now he calls it the grind, and that's what it's going to be on multiple levels as Ohio State tries to defend its title. It took a little bit longer than expected, but Vernon Adams has graduated from Eastern Washington and joined Oregon's football program as a graduate. The quarterback was a star at the FCS level. He tore up Washington and Oregon State's defenses. Oregon, meanwhile, must replace Heisman Trophy winner Marcus Mariota. Could Adams win the job and keep the Ducks as playoff contenders? That's two big questions, and it's going to be a fascinating season to watch in Eugene. Once again, the SEC West looks loaded. A year ago, seventh place Arkansas lost to first place Alabama by one point, and it seemed fitting. This year, every team believes it can win the West, and every team might be correct. Obviously, six won't, but someone will, and that team could win it all, the national championship, or it could be so banged up that it can't function anymore once it gets to the playoff. Time's gonna tell. The Big 12 spent the offseason doing what Commissioner Bob Bowlesby called soul searching. Did they need a conference championship game? What about expansion? It's just the natural angst that occurs when you miss the playoff. So who's it going to be this year? All we know is it's going to be somebody. With four playoff spots, at least one Power 5 champion gets left out. Whoever gets left out, get ready for some soul searching. This is sacrilege to many who think the SEC West is unquestionably best. But the Pac-12 South might just be better, or at least it could be the most competitive division in college football. USC looks like a playoff contender, but what about Arizona State, Arizona, UCLA, Utah? You could just keep going. For the last few years, the Pac-12's best has been in the North with Oregon or Stanford, or Oregon and Stanford. It's very possible that this season, the Pac-12's best team is coming out of the South and will be too battered to get into the playoff.